Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, a recent release of Stargate SG-1 The Complete Series on Blu-ray. I, I say recent with a caution because I was not aware of this release until recently. It is manufactured and distributed by VEI Home Entertainment and can be purchased from one of two places as far as I could tell. One of them you can order directly from VEI from Amazon as a, as a third party seller or you can go directly to their website and order it from them. Either way seems to work. I found out about this accidentally. It, I don't think it came out that long ago. Uh, it, it does have a copyright of 2020 on there. Obviously, we're just a few days into the new year of 2021, so it, it obviously would not have come out in 2021. But it uh, is is a new release. I. I could not find a whole lot about it. I think this surprised a lot of people. I found it just by browsing some of my favorite uh, Blu-ray websites, and one of them had a had a forum, and somebody had mentioned that they had seen this and wondered where the heck did this come from because there was apparently no announcement. There was no marketing or advertising that it was coming out uh, it seemed to have caught everyone off guard so I went ahead and ordered it because I I enjoyed the movie and I enjoyed the television series that ran from what 1997 to 2006 something like that uh, I used to have the series on DVD and to be honest this looks like a a port of the DVD over onto Blu-ray. I am not a, a an audio and video file. I do not have high-tech equipment to be able to tell me you know what's HD versus standard definition versus you know did they restore and remaster all this i don't know on vei's own website all they say is and i quote super clean picture so maybe that's a technical term i don't know i i did look it it, it is a super clean picture i mean i mean it still looks like it's from you know the late 90s early 2000s uh tv show uh, for the fans, it is the Showtime's Children of Lesser Gods Part 1 and 2 pilot that is that starts out this series. If you're looking for the final cut that came out on DVD several years ago, you'll want to either get that or hang on to that if you like that, that final cut, because that is not on... On this set. Uh, that is why I think they just ported over the DVD stuff. Because they they have... It seems like they've got all the extra features that were on the DVDs as well. So I don't think we've lost anything at all in the transition from DVD to Blu-ray. It's a pretty big box. Here's the front of it. Here's the spine. As it says, 10 seasons, 214 episodes. There's VEI. VEI and MGM uh, are responsible for this. And there's the back. There's the other spine. And what this is, it's, uh, it's like a slip cover. It comes off. And you have a very big Blu-ray box 
underneath it. Very big. Same picture, same artwork, nothing different from the uh, cardboard slip cover. But it's just in this big box that clips together like that. And, and you know what? It's a sturdy plastic box. It's, it's quite thick, quite well put together. And you just unsnap it open. It opens up. And it's got a sticker on here for any product issues or questions, where to call for uh, VEI. It does come with uh, this booklet. Uh, just a brief synopsis about the show, and then it goes into what's on all the the uh, discs, all the episodes, uh, plus all the bonuses. And, and, you know, it's got a little bit of artwork in there, too. As you can tell, here's some artwork. And there's some more on the back. So, a nice little booklet. Um... Gives you the episode guide. I mean, it's really just the titles, but at least it tells you what's on the discs uh, plus the bonuses. And uh, like I say, it does have all 10 seasons, all 214 episodes. Here's the weird thing, although it's not weird for VEI because I've noticed VEI does this. Um, they use these sleeves. To hold all the discs in. It's got two of these. It's like a it's like a mini album, a little photo album, it's, but but with discs instead of photos. And all ten episodes are in these sleeves. And they're all they're all Blu-rays, but there is no. There's no cases inside of the of the main box. Uh, there's no spindles, no holders, no anything. Just pages of these sleeves. And that's one. That's half of it. And then the rest of the next half of it is right here. Again, same thing. Sleeves. But all the episodes are here. All the discs are here. All the episodes are there. Like I said, I have gone through some of the episodes and it's a nice picture i do is it hd i you know i i i don't know i it is it's probably been i'm not sure that any work has been done on it and and there's this bonus disc which for some reason they put in its own sleeve by itself and then it's just this empty empty space here to put the disc back in. I'm thinking it's probably an up convert from DVD to Blu-ray. But what do I know? That's just a guess on my part. Pure speculation. Um, it's kind of funny the way they've boxed this up. But is it secure? Yep. Snaps into place. It's not going anywhere. It's a nice set. It's a little pricey. It's about 130 bucks. But you get everything. And it's nice to have Stargate on Blu-ray. I never thought they'd put the SG-1 series on Blu-ray. I've got uh, Stargate Atlantis on Blu-ray. And it's nice that they finally put the original uh, SG-1 on, on Blu-ray. I like that. Have any of 
you pick this up or did any of you even know about this? This was a first for me. I like it. I think it's worth it. Um, you just have to be willing to put up with uh, those sleeves. Which for me is not a deal breaker. It's just funny because it, 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 if any of you who have ever purchased from VEI before, whether it's DVDs or Blu-rays, they always use those sleeves in whatever box it comes in. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about a purchase. I don't think that the the packaging is is a deal breaker in any way. It's it's just amusing to me. Um the discs are all in good shape. They're all there. Uh like I say, the picture quality, yeah, it's it's a clean picture. Um they did have a disclaimer when the disc first play where it says that uh because of the higher resolution of the Blu-ray disc, that there are technical anomalies, and I'm quoting that, technical anomalies that may or may not be noticed that we are unable to correct. That's what they said. So, you may or may not notice something in here that they can't correct. So I, I guess they're covering themselves. Uh, I'd say just keep in mind, you know what? This is a show that was on for 10 seasons. Started in the late 90s, ended in the 2000s. Um, it's not a new show. So you, you can't compare the picture quality to a show that just got got uh, filmed and released on home video yesterday. So bear that in mind. Uh, I think if you do, you won't be disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm glad I got it. I like it. If you're a fan of SG-1 and you'd like to have it on Blu-ray, go for it. Go get it. Uh, don't don't be afraid to, to pick pick a copy up. If you already have the DVDs, is it worth the upgrade? I don't know. I guess that depends on you. Uh, I do like to upgrade my DVDs to Blu-rays. I'm a Blu-ray fan. And uh, unless for some reason the Blu-ray is absolutely abysmal and is worth worse than the DVD, which rarely is the case, although it has happened, um... I'm usually all for it, so I, I am happy to see this released on Blu-ray. Uh, let me know your thoughts in, in the comments below, and let me know if you're going to get this set, and if you do, what, what are your, your thoughts on it? Do you, do you think it's HD, or do you think they just did an upconvert from uh, the DVD? I'm, I'm very curious. So thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your time, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.